Always this cold in Starkfield? Yes, it's a rough winter. We might just get snowed in. just Ethan Brown. What happened to him? He had what you might call a smash up. You know, it's kind of unfortunate, but um, most of the smart ones get away. It's getting very cold outside. We'll surely freeze. No, I'm all right. I'll just walk. There's a blizzard coming. Get in. You'll stay at my house until the storm di dies down. Okay. I don't need a ride today. Thanks, though. Maddie, were you going to go home without me? Of course not, Ethan. Good. Let's go home then. Where's the key? I'm sure she put it here. Oh, hey, Zena. I guess you forgot about us. No, I just felt so mean I couldn't sleep. Aren't you coming to bed? No, maybe I'll do some paperwork. You'll freeze. Fine. Ethan, I'm getting those shooting pains again. I have a doctor's appointment in Bedsbridge. Can you have Jotham drive me there later this afternoon? Well, certainly. I'd do it myself, but I have farming to do and cutting lumber and so forth. Bye, Ethan. I'm leaving. Bye, Zena. Take as long as you like. Go. Adios. Yes. Maddie, we get the night all to ourselves. Oh, yay! I'll make a special dinner just for us. This particular headstone has always caught my attention. Hmm. It says, sacred to the memory of Ethan Throne and Endurance, his wife who dwelled together in peace for 50 years. Jeez, I hope that doesn't happen to me. Are you there? Oh, hi, oh, Ethan. Goodness. Have you any visitors? One. But it was only Jotham, though. So Dennis wasn't here? No. Well, Good. anyway, let's have dinner. Here you go. too good. 
here anyway, so I think I'll just go back in the kitchen. <clears throat> I better get to bed. Yeah, me too. talk to her. She went upstairs. <clears throat> Dinner's almost ready. Do you want to eat? No. Are you alright? No. <laughs> Why? What did the doctor say? The doctor said I'm getting sicker, Ethan. I can't be busting around the house doing all the work. He said we need to get a new girl. What about Maddie? She helps you. Maddie doesn't do anything. We need to get someone who's going to work harder. You should have told me first. We can't afford this. We can't afford both Maddie and this new girl. No, oh, silly. We're going to get rid of Maddie. We're going to hire someone else who actually knows how to do her job. What? Yep. Tell Maddie that she's going to leave tomorrow and tell her to pack all of her things tonight. What? Zena's kicking you out. You have to leave tomorrow. Oh, don't be so sorry, Ethan. I'll be okay. But who are you possibly going to stay with? I don't know. I'll just find a place. I, I don't know. I thought you weren't hungry. I changed my mind. I need my heartburn medicine. Oh, I'll get it for you. No, you don't know where I put it. I'll get it myself. Okay. <clears throat> I demand to know who did this. It was the cat. The cat? So the cat went into the cupboards? By itself? Or did you guys take it out when I wasn't here? I just wanted to make the table look pretty. How dare you guys? <laughs> what do I do? I, I could run away with Maddie, but I'd need enough money to buy us a house. And I need to get a new job. Or also I need to take care of Zena. She could have the house and the farm, but she wouldn't be able to tend it on her own. I don't want her to starve to death, and she can't sell the house. Oh, I don't have any money. It would be impossible. <sighs> oh, look, there's Mrs. Hale. Maybe I should ask her for money. Mrs. Hale, Mrs. Hale. Oh, hi, hi Ethan. Hi. Well, listen, I just wanted <clears throat> to tell you that I think you're just amazing for staying with Zena through what she's going through right now. I mean, mm -hmm. it must be really, really hard. and. I just think you're really honorable to just be with her right now. <laughs> anyway, what do you have to say? Oh, no, nothing. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. Ethan. I'm sorry, Maddie, but we have to go. Oh, I don't want to leave. Where am I going to go? Jotham, I'll need you to take Maddie to the train station and pick up our new girl. No, I'm taking her. But I'm taking her, and that's final. Okay. Remember that summer when we first met? Yeah, it was so fun. The church picnic. And you found my ring when I lost it in the grass. You remember that? Yeah, I do. Well, we never did go sledding. Tonight would have been the perfect night. And we'll never be together again. Maybe we should sled into that huge elm, and we'll just be together in death. Mm, okay. Let's do it. Only in death. But wait. Let me sit in front first. Okay. Okay, where? Hold on. <laughs> Inside. It's warm in here. Let me introduce you to my wife, Zena, and my wife's cousin, Miss Maddie Silver. to do and chopping the wood and so forth. <laughs> Maddie! Maddie! The door is open! Okay, well, I'll come. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Hello. And then glue it together, maybe in the morning, and hope she, that she doesn't <laughs> find out. Oh, <laughs> 
Calm her down. Calm. Oh. <laughs> I don't have my cat. <laughs> yeah. I hit it because. <laughs> No. Come closer. Come all the way over there. All the way over there before you talk to her or else I can't get you both in the same thing. <laughs> Nicole! Nicole! thought you weren't hungry. Changed my mind. <laughs> you I just think you're amazing for being with Xena in this time of sickness. You know, it's really hard for her what she's going through right now. And I just want you to know that you're just... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. 